So as you all probably know, I like playing around with AI once in a while. And recently I've been playing around with OpenAI and also something called Langchain to basically allow me to have a conversation with uh, OpenAI's API. If you use ChatGPT, you can actually have like a full on conversation and it remembers the context of the discussion that you're having. But when you use the API, you don't really get that ability to keep track of context. So you have to kind of roll your own approach. So let me show you what I have here. This is just a little fun little side project. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this, npm run start. And that's gonna contact OpenAI and basically give it a prompt. It's gonna say, you are a dungeon master running a text-based adventure RPG with a player. I'm gonna have a conversation with you and you'll need to describe a scenario, give quests, randomly make battles and track player stats and items. And this says make the game medium difficulty, whatever that means. Start off the game by asking me to pick a wizard, warrior, or archer, and then give me some basic items with health points. After I pick my character, describe an interesting and dangerous scenario where I have to explore. I'll have goals and fight enemies along the way. So I wanted to see how well this game can actually do with like making a text adventures. All right, so after you're starting the game, um, it's gonna ask you pick a wizard, a warrior, or an archer. Uh, once you've made your choice, I'll provide you the basic items and health points for your character. Please let me know when your character choice is done. All right, I'm gonna say wizard. And the way this uh, program works is basically, I ask OpenAI this input, but I'm using Langchain over here. So how Langchain works is you can give it an LLM, which will be OpenAI. So if you look over here, we're basically giving it the chat OpenAI interface. So it knows what it's gonna connect to to kind of like start these uh, questions. And then you also give it a place to store the previous conversations, which is a memory interface here. So I'm gonna doing a buffer memory, all this is just going to be stored locally in this running application. And when I clear this application, all the memory is lost. But if you go to memory, they have integrations with DynamoDB. They have PlanetScale, Redis, Upstash, various services like that. So if you were to run this on like a serverless environment, you can actually store the memory somewhere. And then after we ask for that initial like response here, I have a while true loop where it basically just keeps printing out the response of the dungeon master. And then it waits for you to type in a, a prompt. And then I send that prompt to OpenAI again into the langchain.call right here. And that's going to basically use the memory that's stored in the chain and generate more responses, right? So again, if you just load up ChatGPT and have a conversation, it's kind of doing all this behind the scenes. But when you're dealing with the API, you don't get that feature. So that's why you have to bring in Langchain. So after picking your character, it kind of gives you some things that you can choose, like a spellbook, a wand, or robes. Um, tells you how many health points you have. It kind of gives you a scenario and a goal. You're trying to find a crystal of power. Uh, it's kind of very generic. So technically, if you wanted to make this more like customized, you could pass in different types of settings or scenarios here when you set this all up. Um, maybe if you get more sophisticated, you can have a UI where a user can pick like you're doing some type of island adventure or you're doing a space adventure or you're doing like a, a, a molten lava volcano adventure or something. I don't know. The thing is you can kind of set up the scenario if you want to, because what I notice is the AI keeps doing the same like force of shadow things. I don't know where it's getting this information from, but that's kind of the de facto it keeps picking. And the crystal power, I've seen this like three times already since starting this. But anyway, go down here, it says you've uh, encountered some goblins lurking in the shadows. They spot you and draw their rusty blades ready to attack. Okay, so put your magical powers to the test. Roll a six sided die to determine the number of goblins you'll be facing. <laughs> but I'm gonna say what I'm gonna do is like what spells do I have in my spell book? Go ahead and type that in. All right, these are the spells. So technically I could pick any of these spells to attack these goblins. Um, let's see, let's just go ahead and use Frost Nova. I want to use Frost Nova on the goblins before they get closer to me. So as you quickly flip through your spell book, you focus the magical energy and cast a spell, creating a freezing wave that emanates from your outstretched hand engulfing the group of goblins causing them to freeze in place and taking damage in the process all right so now i can say like uh shoot a fireball at a goblin looks like i damaged some of them um what are the goblins health points and how many are there goblins each have 30 health points and you're facing a group of four goblins okay fire another fireball keep firing fireballs it's like, how far, how far away are these things? Why are they not actually getting close to me and hitting me? Cast a lightning bolt. How about that? All right, so I killed the goblins. Now it says what I want to do next. Continue my journey to find the crystal. Let's see what the AI prompts me for this scenario now. I, I wander deeper into the forest. I find a bridge. Uh, 
I hear a growl emanating from the shallow shadows. A pair of glowing eyes peer through the darkness, revealing a creature lurking below. It's a dire wolf. I'm going to try saying roll dice. See what happens. Okay, well, I guess it can't roll a six-sided dice. Maybe it's saying I need to roll. Uh, I say I roll a three. Oops, I press enter and I shouldn't have. Okay, so the previous battle with the goblins, I probably should have actually like pretended like I rolled a dice. As you can tell, <laughs> the point of this video, I wasn't trying to like show this, this application because obviously this is just a stupid prototype I'm working on. But the point is, if you need to get some type of memory, like some type of conversational memory going, definitely check out LangChain. It's very easy to set up a conversational chain and have some type of conversation like this. As you can tell, all the prompts knew previously, like who we're fighting, like it kept remembering we're fighting goblins or we're fighting the dire wolves. It remembers that I'm a wizard. It continues to remember the quest that we're on for the crystal of power. So definitely check that out. Anyway, I don't know if this content is even something that people care about. Like I think AI is pretty cool. And as a web developer, especially since AI just kind of started booming in the past year, uh, I definitely recommend you continuously brush up your skills with it um, because I'm seeing every single service basically integrate with OpenAI these days. So at least knowing a little bit more about it can help you become a more useful developer. Other than that, I have a Discord channel that you guys are welcome to join if you guys want to talk to me directly or just ask questions to get help. Uh, yeah, have a good day and happy coding.